Oh man. Eric Keller here, Enthusiast Auto Group. Today we're at EAG's HQ yet again and with a super, super special car, mega freestyle this time. Uh, my camera gear has, uh, well, uh, run out of juice and I wanted to make sure that I didn't waste this opportunity to bring you not one, but two special cars. Uh, we're going to come back to that uh, very beautiful pumpkin uh, later. The main subject of this video, though, is, is this Tobago Blue 1996 European spec 850 CSI. The M8 that, frankly, uh, wasn't, uh, that didn't happen. And if you know your E31 trivia, there's a lot of really cool and unique things that make this car very special and unique. And we're going to cover just a couple of those things. I, I simply wanted to introduce our fellow enthusiasts to this car, uh, to the market, because, um, well, it's a very, very special car that certainly deserves a, a much better video later, especially some driving time. But uh, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to share my excitement, uh, our excitement, frankly, uh, with our fellow community. And, and this is a, a, an amazing car that has taken quite a long time to acquire. It's just arrived in the last week. Uh, we have not yet really done anything to it other than wash it and that's it. Uh, we've taken some pretty photos. Uh, the uh, previous owner, the predominant owner uh, that's owned it since 2003, has been the, you know, the primary custodian of this car for the majority of those 61,000 kilometers that the car has done. And he was certainly a E31 enthusiast, and the condition of the car today is a direct result of that. The documentation, the, the history, the, the quality of care, the fact that he went through the referee process, and look at this, obtained a California bar certificate for a European spec car after it was federalized, and those are what those stickers are there. Uh, that, that's not easy to do. And the car comes with a lot of extras. It, it, it's really one of the most unique 850 CSIs that the market will frankly ever see. And, and I have to say, it's, it's way, way, way up there with the best of the best of the best. This is what we would call a number one condition car. Uh, it's Tobago Blue on Tobago Blue. That is not a normal color uh, or, or pairing. Uh, quite rare. I don't know exactly how many of those were made in this color uh, configuration. But I can tell you that it was a European spec only uh, setup. And it is certainly one that uh, has my attention it's it's similar to um, a Le Mans blue for you e39 m5 enthusiasts out there and the black uh, with the blue inside again uh, very very striking and and frankly it's a great place to be especially uh, sitting uh, right there uh, it is a non wood trim which uh, all the the North American spec cars will have that wood trim the black trim certainly uh, seems to be quite a bit more favorable to the, the more modern and, and uh, contemporary enthusiasts. And, you know, uh, overall, uh, for arrival condition, uh, it's about as good as we will see. I, I can't say that uh, we, we see many better arrive in, uh, than this, and, and that's, again, uh, why it's an EAG car and, and why we will continue to support this car throughout its time with us and then uh, you know, from that point forward with the next enthusiast owner. Uh, there is no shortage of small little things like the, uh, the front uh, high beams there. Uh, we're going to have to take a little uh, uh, time and attention to track down those European bits and if you know how to get those uh, lights and, and send them to us uh, here in the U.S. it's a much harder part to get even though we have the title and have all the right stuff, a U.S. title, by the way, to get those Euro bits, BMW certainly doesn't like to send non-domestic, uh, natural to our market parts, especially when it comes to lighting relative to DOT issues. Uh, so if you have those lights, uh, reach out to us because we need a pair of them. Actually, we need two pair of them. Actually, I'll buy four or five pair just so we have a stockpile. If you got those, let's, uh, let's talk. Um, but we will be getting some replacements all the same and adding that to the Rejuve work order. You'll notice we got a little bit different uh, head unit up in here, and this is the BMW Traffic Pro. Uh, this is definitely a um, updated bit of kit that uh, was a 
uh, updated item that uh, BMW came out with post uh, production and is well it's a navigation system and um, a, a CD player all in one pretty nice bit of kit it's a warm warm day in Cincinnati but we can also see that all the pixels are full and bright and we don't have any error codes to display uh, the car is set up with its American uh, cluster at the moment. It is a fully federalized car, and uh, I just took it for a spin around the block, hence why it's in sport mode. Um, my goodness, this car is a lot of fun to drive. All 850s are, are a lot of fun to drive, frankly. Um, but uh, you know, no cracks in the center vents. Uh, this is a real common area. Uh, the air conditioning blows nice and cold as you hear the AC compressor kick on there. Uh, and, and the water under the car from uh, earlier before my drive. Um, just a, a really, really, really bang up, super nice original Survivor. Everything is still original. The trim is still in really, really good shape. Uh, you know, it's very, very common for this soft touch plastic to have a lot of scrapes. And then there's a couple small uh, scrapes. Uh, I'll show you one or two that I, I have found, but overall it's, um, it's still the, the, the clicky kind of plastic, uh, not the thuddy kind of plastic. And if you've had cars, especially BMWs of this vintage, you know what I mean by that. Uh, we've got both um, uh, another master key and a valet key. And the, the car does have a low jack system on it uh, that um, the previous owner installed with a couple other uh, goodies. Um, the car, this is on the build sheet, the cassette storage system. Uh, how cool is that? Uh, it says cassette storage system on the build sheet. Uh, I've never seen that on a build sheet before. Uh, naturally, all the uh, CSIs came with a six speed and um, yeah, that's an illuminated knob. Uh, the headliner's still nice and full and tight. It is the original headliner, oh, excuse me, it is a replacement headliner and it is, in really good shape the suspension the everything I mean the, the car's been just overly maintained if there was to be a service file with that definition yes the lights are still on uh, overly maintained would be a great descriptor of this car the binder is a good inch inch and a half thick uh, it is a M rear spoiler car on the build sheet. It's a French market car by Original Production. And the European Spec 850 CSI came with three different wheel options. You could get the BVS Style 5s, you could get the 17-inch Throwing Stars, or you could get the optional 18-inch M Parallels. Uh, they were all staggered setups, and the Throwing Stars were really the only multi-piece wheel that was available in this period. Uh, at least from BMW that I'm aware of, uh, outside of, the, of course, the Style 5s. And, uh, you know, these are, have to be the coolest BMW hubcaps ever. And if anybody gives you, you know what, about calling these a hubcaps, you can just take them off and throw them at them, uh, given they are a throwing star design. It is certainly function over form, and as these wheels spin in the forward direction, they do pull air out of the wheel housings, uh, the hot air that is, and uh, take that air away from the brakes, so giving you that maximum temperature and the cooling uh, properties. It's one of the coolest wheel designs and, and frankly, very, very period correct. I mean, think about all these cars uh, that would compete with the, the pinnacle, the, the really the flagship of the BMW brand at the time, this 850 CSI. What would you get uh, in Italy? You'd get a, what, a 456. The Porsche uh, counterpart uh, V8 uh, would be a 928. And, um, you know, I wonder what those guys thought when this car blew by them on the Autobahn, especially, uh, you know, in, in such a vibrant and, and dynamic color. Uh, I wanted to do this video actually at twilight because it's, it's going to give you a very different color uh, temperature than the studio photos, especially the, the daylight, sunlight, outside photos. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, really cool color that is certainly light sensitive. And for fans of the blue family in the BMW color palette, this ranks really, really high up there. Uh, it's really hard not to, to keep this car and add it to the EAG stable. 
Uh, I, I really wish we had an endless supply of, of room and, and availability to have these cars because ultimately that's what got us into the hobby. Uh, who's heard that story before? But this is, if you're going to get an 850 CSI, um, I don't know they come much later or better. This is the end of the era. There's only, uh, well, one, uh, uh, well, a couple more years of production after the 96, but it is the final iteration. and. They got the bugs ironed out, albeit there weren't a lot of technological changes throughout the model life cycle. Um, you know, th th this V12 is, um, well, uh, you're not going to get a, a much closer relationship from BMW to the you know, most, well, famed sports race car ugh, built, uh, being the McLaren F1. Uh, this engine obviously shares that same code with it. And speaking of engine code, this is, of course, an S, uh, what is this, an S, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, Eric, come on, uh, this is a S70, there we go, boy, it's been a long day, uh, but this S70 would be a slash one variant, yes, uh, these are improv videos, as you can very clearly tell. Uh, the S3 would be what we would find on the McLaren F1LM. And I think the slash 2 might be uh, the standard uh, uh, F1. The comments uh, will certainly uh, straighten that out for anybody that has a question. But uh, I mean, everything, look, again, function over form. Look at that intake setup through the grills, uh, feeding that cooling system. And it's just a, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful space analog everything serves a purpose and every purpose uh, is, is clearly identified and they just don't build them like they used to um, let's take a quick look in the trunk here and, and show you that fat stack of records and, and extras that come with the car and one extra really special thing some guys are really going to get excited about this and you know who you are because those are the guys that buy brand new floor mats when they are available Try to go get another set of blue floor mats that match this car. Uh, good luck, Chuck, because, well, that's probably the last set, and they're brand new in the wrapper still, literally. Um, that's, uh, we could call that an inch. Um, I'll leave the jokes for uh, a different time. Uh, the um, uh, record history and the summary, I think there's a hundred and some pages in there. We have uh, a couple extra Euro and U.S. bits there. We have the Euro cats. We have the U.S. cats. Again, uh, this is a 50-state legal car. So if you are in California and you'd like to own a European spec M850 CSI, because it is an M, it's a WBS car. And all of the BMW M cars uh, that, uh, well, you are very well and clear familiar with, uh, they have a WBS uh start on, on the genuine standard VIN. The engines, of course, being S codes, where all of the standard 3 Series, 5 Series have M engine codes. Uh, so it's an S engine code with a S chassis code, which again, this is effectively that M8 that never really happened. Uh, you know, the other thing I did want to point out, and again, maybe uh, reference the comments, uh, what BMW had quad exhaust first? Was it the 8 Series? I don't know of any other BMW that had quad exhaust. And again, a WBS, an M car. And, you know, there was $900 million put into this project to develop the E31 8 Series chassis. And, and, and you know, this, of course, would be a, a motorsport afterthought in the CSI trim with uh, what, 1,510 built for the world, 225 coming to North America. Um, I don't believe there's an M car in view here, just of what's in process. Most of this stuff is sold, with the exception of uh, a handful. But uh, I see four tailpipes on every car uh, here on property. And that's no different uh, with this. And I've been teasing just a little bit with this collection of cars that we've purchased out of California. And, well, uh, the license plate says a lot of what this car is. It's a little bit of a uh, play on words because this is not a genuine uh, M3 GTS. Unfortunately, this uh, model of uh, the, the homologation spec 
of the E92 was not brought to the United States market. However, uh, this car was uh, done by a, an enthusiast in Northern California to the point that it's been in uh, some magazines. It was done exceptionally well to the point that the owner of BMW of San Francisco decided to be the second owner and call it his own. Uh, it is outfit with a Dynan 4.6 liter stroker and having driven this car home last night, it's a good thing I didn't bring the cameras with me. Um, I probably, uh, uh, well, we'll maybe do another video later, but uh, there's a, maybe a video that uh, we could share, but friends and family only. Uh, the car has a regular seat belts, uh, the, the, the harnesses, it's everything that uh, could be GTS is GTS. And uh, I'm not going to go into the details on how he did this, uh, but it, it, it was done. Um, is it pure? No, it's got a hump. And, and yes, no hump, hump, etc. Uh, it has comfort access, which frankly, uh, using it kind of as a daily driver as I have over the last 36 hours, I, <laughs> I actually kind of uh, prefer that kind of stuff. It's got a great working uh, air conditioning system and, and I'm not going to use the car on the track all the time as, as the owner, but uh, maybe uh, the next guy might and uh, we can certainly change some of that stuff if you really want to go bonsai on it. But uh, GTS brakes, um, I'm not going to go over too much of it because uh, there's going to be, there's got to be another video on this car. Uh, and this is just a sample of those six cars that we bought from this collection. And uh, maybe I'll give you a little teaser on the next one there being a Dynan Stage 2 still on the original MSO. Um, more on that very low mileage Dynan S2 later. Back to the car at hand, uh, this 850 CSI is available. Uh, it is coming to market on the website here very shortly. Uh, this is that first look opportunity for our friends and family that are subscribed to the channel. If you've not already done so, you might want to because that's where you're going to see stuff uh, populate first uh, before it hits any major media. We want to keep these cars in great and loving homes. And this car is um, in arrival condition. There are some uh, things to do that the Reju program certainly will update and take care of. But it's an exceptional example that I cannot wait to drive home this evening and, um, well, make some great memories with and adding our very short uh, uh, but very uh, comprehensive and technical chapter to this car's life and, um, well, be that pillar of, of support throughout the next uh, coming years as we support those fellow enthusiasts that enjoy this car. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe for more. And, uh, well, see ya. Yes, sir, Elijah. All right, here, just hit it. Let's go.